The Mexican word cenotes came from the Mayan word meaning cavern with water. Cenotes are natural deep water wells or sinkholes that are fed by the filtration of rain and by currents of underground rivers that are born deep in the heart of the earth. My name's Bethany. I'm known as the Alaska Relic Hunter, but today I'm not looking for relics. I am here in Playa del Carmen to start something I have wanted to try for a very long time. Someday I want to be a full cave diver, but for now I am starting with my cavern class. Today I'm going to be starting training with Nico an experienced cave diver and the owner of Cenote Experience in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Well, let's head down to the water and go see where we're going to start our dive today. It's very cool. This is cenote ponderosa or Eden, okay? Day one, I started learning how to run primary line. 200 feet inside the cavern from the opening. Not my favorite, but I got to spend some time swimming all the way out to my exit blind without a mask. Day two, more running primary line. Trying to figure it out and getting a little bit better at it. I spent a lot of time learning how to keep my line snug in between tie-offs. And then on to blackout mask drills. Zero visibility exits with a blackout mask on finding my way so I would not lose the line. It was a real challenge to have to do everything one-handed so that I did not let go of my primary line. Lost line drills was probably one of the most challenging aspects of this course for me. Being blind and being taken away from my line and having to use the skills I was taught to get back and to find it. What a relief. There's nothing that feels as wonderful as when you reach your hand out and hit that line. Many of these cenotes have a halocline. A halocline is where fresh water and salt water mix. Many of the cenotes have salt water coming in underneath from the ocean nearby and it mixes with the fresh water from the rain at the surface. The area where the fresh water and salt water mix can often create zero visibility. Once I had passed my cavern class, 
I joined up with other divers to experience the beauty of other nearby cenotes in Mexico. And after a day in the water in the cenotes, we went and had dinner in a cavern. It was the perfect ending to three amazing days of diving in the cenotes in Playa del Carmen, Mexico.